All right, so now that we have a good idea of what Node is and we've got Node installed on our computer, we can go ahead and start messing around a little bit. Uh, so for this very first video, just to kind of get our feet wet and get a little bit comfortable with the syntax and the language, we're just going to use the built-in REPL. Uh, for those that haven't used a REPL before, it stands for Read, Evaluate, Print Loop. And basically, it's just any kind of interactive mode where you can interact with the language. So in an earlier video, I showed you that if you're in Chrome and you right click and click inspect and then click on console, you have this little area where you can do one plus one uh, and it'll evaluate it and then let you do something else. So this in, is a REPL. Uh, this is a REPL for client side JavaScript. Um, so basically, Node gives you the same thing, but you know, on the back end. So we're going to go back over to our terminal. And again, you can do this from anywhere, and we're just going to type node and hit enter. And you should notice that it changes your prompt from whatever yours was, it probably doesn't look exactly like mine, uh, into this little caret here, this little uh, greater than sign. And now that we're in this greater than sign, we can do things like 1 plus 1, and it'll print 2, just like down here. Um, so this is where we can start really messing around and getting to learn the language. Um, for the most part, everything is going to be exactly like the JavaScript you're used to. Uh, so for those that haven't done JavaScript before, you know, you have variable declarations like var foo equals, then you have string like hello, something like that. Uh, and then at any time we can type foo and it is, you know, that same variable. Similarly, we have functions, um, like a function bar, that console logs hello, something like that. Um, then we can call bar and it'll console log hello. So for all of this syntax here, um, if you're not familiar with JavaScript, there's a lot of great resources on learning that language. I'm not going to go too deep into the JavaScript fundamentals, but I would recommend checking out javascript.com. Uh, this is a website that's freely available. It was, I believe, purchased by the people at Code School, which is a great site. I'll do a shout out for them too. Um, so codeschool.com is this website, e-learning videos, premium learning videos um, on Ruby and JavaScript and a bunch of other cool things. So anyway, they bought this site, javascript.com, and the basic idea is, like, first they have this really fun little interactive game where you can learn it, very similar to Try Ruby for anyone that's done that. Um, and second, and perhaps more importantly, they have this resources tab up here. You can go to these resources tab, and these are a curated list of free resources, which is great. Um, so like, if you're looking to learn the JavaScript syntax, I would really recommend starting here. Um, I guess I'll just kind of run through this list really fast. Uh, this try JavaScript is what we were just looking at, is the main page uh, where you get that little interactive thing on JavaScript.com. Uh, this is a free code school course, so you can kind of get a feel for what their courses are like and if you want to sign up and pay. Similarly, Pluralsight is another e-learning site. This is their free course on JavaScript. The MDN, which I'm going to go ahead and open in a new tab right now, is the official, uh, I guess suppose the official documentation for JavaScript. Uh, it's maintained by Mozilla. It's an open source wiki, so anybody can contribute. Um, and it really is the place to search. So if you're looking for... Um, you know, you're looking to learn the language, I would always recommend adding MDN in your, uh, you know, search results. So if you're looking for like, uh, you know, JavaScript variable declaration, I would just add MDN like that to the search result. Um, and you can go ahead and you know, click on the MDN link and you get this really, really great stuff. Um, I think it's really well written. The fact that it's a wiki is great. Uh, so I would really bookmark, bookmark MDN if you're just learning the language for the first time. Uh, Again, a free e-learning site, a free book that's really great, two free books that are really great. Uh, this is the whole You Don't Know JavaScript series by Kyle Simpson if you want to really deep dive into the language. Um, another code school video. Uh, and then this is a list of JavaScript books. So really, this javascript.com slash resources should be everything you need uh, for learning and mastering the language itself. Uh, we're not going to be focusing on JavaScript too much. We're really going to be focusing on Node for these, these videos. So uh, again, uh, you can type Node to get into this REPL here. Uh, and then from this REPL, you can start executing some code, having fun with that. Uh, in the next video, we'll talk about actually making a file uh, and running Node that way.